What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here, primed and ready to deliver you our Week 8 battle here in BTA Season 8. We are taking on Jaden and the Philadelphia Phalanx. Uh, you see from our team, you know, the mons we had in our team builder, the Volcanion, Amoongus, Licky Licky, Sylveon, Mega Absol, and Oracorio Pom Pom. Uh, chilling on our side if you need more details on those the team builder was uploaded yesterday so please go ahead and check that out so cool stuff there uh, but we see that uh, Jaden decided to bring the uh, Pelper the Swampert the uh, oh shit sorry uh, uh, I did not mean for that to take place my apologies I forgot that uh, that was how that was working. Uh, oops. I'll just pull the dock up on my phone. Because uh, I had a few thoughts with what he brought. So I'll go over those as well. Um, but he brings the Pelipper, Mega Swampert, Azelf, Vileplume, Scizor, and Mianxiao. Uh So looking at the team that he brought uh, versus like the rest of his squad, very, very happy to not see... Happy to not see Heliolisk, because we don't have... Our Zygarde to Sponge. Uh, the electric moves and our team doesn't appreciate Hyper Voices very much. Uh, Sylveon like takes them a lot better, but it's still not appreciated. Um, very happy to not see Kingdra as well. Uh, Kingdra did a little bit better against our team. I feel that Mega Swamp like we have a very well built team to deal with Mega Swampert, but I feel like. Kingdra like was was much better off against our team, I think. Um, but like very happy to not see Aromatis. That that thing would have been annoying. Very happy to not see P two. Uh, not seeing I, like I kind of expected a lot of these mods. I knew like Mega Swampert, Scizor, and Pelipper were kind of like pretty much guaranteed brings. I I one hundred percent thought all three of those were going to show up. Azelf, I was pretty sure would come. I had a good feeling about Vile Plume. I was kind of not thinking it was going to show up, but I'm not opposed to seeing it here. And Mian Shao is like, like I, I get it. I, I can understand Mian Shao, so I'm not too opposed to that. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the matchup, but it's not perfect. It's not great. So uh, we'll just hop right into it and see what happened. So he leads with the Scizor as I lead with my Mega Absol, and immediately I'm like, all right, turn one, do we do we make a big balls play? Because, like, I was thinking in my head, it's like, all right, he could bullet punch and, like, pretty much take us out right here. Um, do we just knock, like, click knock off and try to fuck him up? Uh, he could also potentially be fearing fire coverage on the Absol, so maybe he just switches. Uh, or he could, like not be worried about taking a knockoff, click U-turn, and just kill us. Um, so I decided we'd go for a substitute turn one because, all right, if he bullet punches us, we see that he we, we can scout his set, figure out what he is, um, and go from there. Uh, if he's not life-orbed, and he's not like life orb max attack, I'm pretty sure he doesn't like knock us out of sub range, so he'd be able to still get behind a sub and then go from there. Um, and if he is, you know, if he's strong enough to, to knock us out of sub range, we know he's either like life, we'll, we'll see the life orb, or we know he's potentially banded. So we'll figure that out. Uh, and if he goes for anything else that's not bullet punch, he would go after us, so we'd be able to get the sub up for free, which is nice. So, uh, but he decided to start hard switch here, goes out into the Pelipper as I mega evolve and get behind a substitute. So that is extremely important for us. So I'm able to just go for a knockoff here. We get a crit, big crit. Uh, and get rid of his damp rock. So we see he's fully physically defensive. So uh, we do switch here because there's no reason not to. Um, he would kill us with a scald. We can't KO him, so that kind of sucks. Uh, we're going to go for a steam eruption as he goes out into the vile plume. He does get burned. Uh, so we, we cancel out the black sludge and we see we get 38% off on the vile plume. So this is just max HP vile plume. Uh, it's not especially defensive or anything. So that's pretty cool. Um, really, really happy about that. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for us to take it out later in the game. Um, but right now, I don't particularly want to be sleep powdered or anything, and we can't really flamethrower it because we are in the rain, so 
Uh, I'm just going to make the swap into Amoogus because that's our safest bet. As he goes for the strength sap, he reveals that right now. So right back up to full. Uh, but he's not going to be able to strength sap a lot out of this. So I'm just going to spam Sludge Bomb against this thing. Uh, I think that's just the better play overall. As he's going to aromatherapy here, reveal that to get rid of the burn. As I try to toxic, I toxic there uh, because I misclicked. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, it was a misclick. I did not mean to toxic there. Uh, I, there was no reason for them to switch, so uh, clicking Sludge Bomb repeatedly was always the play. And, uh, you know, both of them are right next to each other. Uh, my brain just clicked the first purple button I saw, and that is what happened. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say I tried to predict some wild switch there and he just stayed in. Like, I'm not. I'll be real. I just I clicked toxic by accident. It happens. We're all human. It is what it is. Um, but, you know, that kind of puts us in a, in a bit of a negative spot because he's able to sludge bomb us again. And, like, if we had been able to get off that sludge bomb damage before, we would have been in a much better spot, I think. Uh, he's going to strength up here as we go into Licky Licky, so he's going to get back up to full. Which sucks, but it is that's fine. Uh, we're going to knock off as he goes into the Mian Shao. And he's going to knock us off as we as it reveals the Chapel Berry and we go for counter. Um... <coughs> I need to start playing this on slow because it goes a little too fast for me to keep up with. It fucks my voice up. Um, so we get we re unfortunately reveal the counter there because like we could still live a close combat uh, regardless. Like we lived close combat no matter what at that range, and like with the chopper berry we lived it and made sure to KO him. So. It's unfortunate that he knocked off our Choppleberry, but we still would have lived. But I'm also kind of glad he didn't close combat there. Uh, would have been really unfortunate. But uh, we get the counter off. Big damage on the Mian Xiao. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that is Regenerator. But uh, we body slam here because like, I'm thinking like if he's running close combat, because I don't believe he would run high jump kick. That just doesn't make sense. It, it, it makes less sense to run high jump kick now because you have close combat that's just more like, consistent and not risky. Um, if you can run close combat over high jump kick, you do that every time, period. Uh, so, go for body slam here. We do get the para on the vile plume, but we he gets the effect spore poison on us. So that really does suck. <laughs> that really sucks. Uh, we're going to knock off here, get rid of his black sludge, but I think is kind of important as he's going to aromatherapy and get rid of the paralysis. So... Uh, we're getting whittled down here by the poison from that effect spore, as we're actually going to throw up a wish here. Uh, because of the sludge bomb damage, we are in range to die, so the vile plume is going to take out our licky licky. But that is fine, because now we can go out into a Moongus. And we have the wish up in the air. Uh, we tank the sludge bomb, we're able to hit him with a sludge bomb, and we get the wish back, and we are back up to a really good amount of HP. So, uh, we still have another wish passer in Sylveon, so I'm not super worried. But he's going to strength sap here to try to get his health back. I'm just going to sludge bomb again. Uh, we're not letting him get his health back for very long. Uh, and we're going to go back into the back and forth sludge bomb wars once again. So that's fun. Uh, so we're getting him whittled down. He's going to strength sap here. Uh, and he gets very little back. He goes on only he gets only 30% back. And we do that damage right back to his sludge bomb. So he sees that he's not going to be able to get shit out of this scenario. As he's going to go hard into his scissor as we sludge bomb again. But that is fine because we take... Hits from Scizor pretty effectively, and he goes for a Bug Bite here, and reveals... Uh, I don't remember what he revealed in that. Uh, doesn't do, do a lot of damage, though, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we click Seam Eruption and miss. That is an annoying miss, because... Um, you're going to see, once we do hit it, how much damage this does. We could have just 2-KO the Pelipper right here, and that would have been amazing. Because you're going to see on this turn, we do 48%. And get the burn. So if we land that first one, we take no damage from this Pelipper here. Because this Pelipper is about to hit us pretty hard. Uh, but we would take no damage from Pelipper, and it would be dead. With only a few turns left of rain remaining. So that's unfortunate. He does crit us with the Hurricane, which also really sucked. Uh, really annoyed that they, they crit us. So uh, we do, do Steam Eruption here. Again, as we do take out the Mian Xiao on the switch in, so that's a kill for Falcanion right there. And in comes this fucking beast. Mega Swamper comes in, Mega Evolves, goes for the Earthquake, and yikes. 
That's so much damage. Um, so we're going to go into Oracorio Pom Pom here, uh, hoping to that he Earthquakes again. Pretty much almost sacking it off, too. Uh, but he does go for the Earthquake again, which is nice. He goes for Ice Punch here, does not KO us because we are bulky. And we hit him with a Hurricane, and we get the Confusion, which is great. However, he's going to switch to Azelf here, and we miss the Hurricane. That is annoying. So, Hurricane does, obviously doesn't Oko the Azelf, but it had a good chance to 2 KO it, and at least get a big amount of damage off on this thing, and like put it into range of a lot of other things being able to take it out. Uh, so, kind of annoying that we missed the Hurricane. This fucking Oracorio keeps missing Hurricanes all the time. But I get it, because it's, you know, a hard move to hit. Uh, give me one second. Uh, but yeah, so unfortunately we didn't miss that, uh, but we're going to save Oracorio as a potential sack later. Uh, we go into Sylveon as he goes for the Dazzling Gleam, so he made the prediction. He made the prediction that we would think he would go for Psychic or like Rocks or something and click the Dazzling Gleam to try to hit our Absol on the switch in. Ha 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 ha. I, I, I read you like a book. Uh, so he's going to U-turn out here. Uh, makes sense and go into the Vile Plume as we throw up a Wish. Because why would we not throw up a Wish? And who's going to be the bearer, the receiver of that Wish? Well, of course he is. Uh, they actually go for the Strength Sap this time, which is kind of nice, so we can get Amoongus back up to full, which is super duper nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the Sludgy Bomb here as the Azelf comes in. And it's going to U-turn back out because it does not want to continue to take those sludgy bombies. Uh, but I'm just going to click Spore here as he goes into the Vile Plume. So he was smart there. Kind of read the Spore a little bit. So that's kind of cool. Good for him. Uh, but we're just going to keep clicking Sludge Bomb because that's what we do here. Uh, he's going to go into the Scizor as we go into Oracorio trying to sack it off. Uh, he's going to Bullet Punch us, not be able to pick up the KO, and we miss the Hurricane. Hurricane from our Oracorio to, like, an offensive scissor, which I was very positive he was. Hurricane does fucking, like, 60%. Even if he's a little bulky, he does, like, 40-some percent. That's still really good damage. That's two Hurricanes in one game that we miss. So he's just going to be able to pick us off with the bullet punch. That sucks dick, but whatever. Uh, we can go back out into Volcania now, and we put the immediate pressure on. So we're going to click Steam Eruption because that covers for the Pelipper switch in, that covers for Swampert switching in, all of those things. Um, so he goes now into Pelipper to set the rain back up, and I'm just going to Steam Eruption and kill that thing as well. So that's cool. And he's going to be able to go back into Mega Swampert. But that's three kills so far for Volcania. Keep an eye on that because that's really important. Uh, he's going to reveal that he is Substitute Mega Swampert. Holy yikes. Uh, I'm just going to Sucker Punch immediately because I'm not having out of that shit as he just Earthquakes and takes down our Absol. That's fine because now he's not behind a sub, and that's super important. And he only has two more turns of rain. So I can go back into Sylveon here. Uh, surprisingly, surprisingly, he switched out. Basically, my plan with going into Sylveon was to throw up a Wish, get smacked hard by the the Swampert. We were in range to live any hit from Swampert in rain. Tank the hit, and then like just kind of die. And let and bring Volcanion in and get the wish. Or whatever. That was kind of the goal. Now we get the wish up here with Sylveon, and we are actually able to now hard switch into Volcanion on the Scizor. As he goes for knockoff, gets rid of our power, which isn't that big of a deal at this point in the game, because we're not going to be able to utilize that tech anyway. Um, and we're going to get the, the wish back. Now, he goes hard into Swampert. This play right here, I think that was a humongous choke. Humong he should have just sacked the Scizor at that point. 
uh, or sacked the Vileplume. One or the other. Because... Like... My thought process with, with, with saying that is... Um, like, I, I, I get it, but at the same time it ended up being a choke. Um... No, no. He made he made the best play he could. I I, I don't I'm retracting my statement. He made the best play that he could, right? Because obviously he's gonna think I'm gonna go for the flamethrower here, right? And then he can outspeed me. Uh, but steam eruption to me was like no drawback because I knew what kind of set his vile plume was, so I knew I outsped it, so I could take him out with the flamethrower if he switched in, right? Obviously, Scizor doesn't want to get burned. He's knocked me off, so that's probably one of the highest damaging moves he's gonna hit me with at this point. So. It's not a threat to me, and it doesn't really want to get burned. And then, obviously, it takes out the Swampert, because, you know, it was pretty low, and it's unresisted, so. Uh, Steam Eruption was pretty much my best, like, no, most no-drawback play here. Because uh, even if I miss the attack on, like, Vileplume coming in, I still kill it with Flamethrower. The only big issue would have been if I missed the attack on Swampert. Um, but that's pretty much it. But then, at that point, I can just sack Sylveon off, and not really care. Um, because that, like, Sylveon's done everything it needs to do. So, and I can maybe even be able to get a wish into Volcanion and get it more HP. That was kind of my mindset at that point. So we take out the Mega Swampert, that is four kills for Volcanion, and you can see the writing on the walls. Volcanion is going to get five kills here with the Vileplume, dropping that thing, and then we're going to see the Scizor come in, all right? And we actually outspeed the Scizor. He must have been a bulkier Scizor, so I, he wasn't offensive. He was bulky. Uh, and we pick up a 6-kill win for Volcanion and a 3-0 win for the Anaheim Appletons. Huge, huge matchup. Very huge matchup for us. Uh, really, really, really proud of how that played out. And so happy that Volcanion gets his kills, because that puts this thing at 16-3, and three, and, like, right at the top of the kill leaderboard. And very close to being in range of being able to take over the crown as the overall kill leader in BTA history. So, hopefully, we will be able to get that to happen for Volcanion. Hopefully, we'll be able to get all that to happen. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll be able to beat. We'll be able to get those extra couple kills over the course of the next few weeks, and Volcanion can be the overall reigning kill leader of all history and time in the BTA. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I uh, will probably be bringing Volcanion on almost every game for the remainder of the season to make sure that that happens. So, uh, yeah. Pretty awesome. Really, really happy to see how that turned out. So, uh, But yeah, really, really great game, Jaden. Uh, prepping for your team was fucking horrible. <laughs> and facing your team was less than fun. And you can see right here, 45 turn game, not too bad. Uh, so, that was, that was pretty fun. That was a pretty fun one. So, uh, yeah, next week we take on our good buddy Mark, my former roommate from uh, college. So really, really looking forward to that. But uh, with that being said, we're going to get out of here. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you have not already. But until next time, I am Poke Primer, signing off. Peace.